welcome this is Dinome. Uh, in this video we're going to take a look at how you can actually stake SXP on the Binance smart chain and the reason I'm making this video is not to hype uh, SXP but it's literally just something that people ask me on the previous video that I made about this is the, probably the best yield farm right now and one of the coins that I talked about in this video was SXP not because you can use it for yield farming but because they have a lucrative staking opportunity. So if I just search for the word Binance here, you can see that a lot of people actually wanted a tutorial how to stake SXP on the Binance Smart Chain, uh, how to do the Binance Smart Chain, how to stake on Binance Smart Chain. So for that reason, uh, this video is just going to be a step-by-step -step tutorial how you can actually get your SXP on the Binance Smart Chain and how you can actually stake it on the on the swipe application so without further ado let's just get started so one of the reasons why you actually want to do this is that you can stake the sxp on ethereum network and you can see the apy is currently about 18.62 percent but if you actually stake it on the binance smart chain the apy is double and the fees are lower on the binance smart chain as well so it's just much more rewarding to actually do it on the binance smart chain than to do it on the ethereum network so uh, the first thing you want to do is you want to download MetaMask uh, uh, browser extension. You can use the Binance uh, browser extension as well, but I personally use MetaMask, so that's what we're going to use for this video. So you simply add, attach it to your uh, browser and then you will see this uh, icon right here. And with that, you can actually start interacting with uh, smart contracts on Ethereum network. But as you can see here on the drop down menu, you can see that I actually have the Binance Smart Chain also here. So that's what you want to do next. So next, what you want to do is you want to add a new uh, uh, chain here. So you would click custom RPC from the dr drop down menu after you have installed the wallet and you have the private keys and everything uh, saved. And uh, I will have to go to the settings here just to show you the network's uh, information what you actually need it need for the uh, uh, to put whenever you add the new uh, settings here so these are the settings that you want to use you want to use Binance Smart Chain Mainnet as the name uh, new RPC URL will be this one chain ID will be this one symbol will be BNB and the block explorer will be HTTPS double <laughs> what is it <laughs> anyway BSC scan.com here and then you just click, uh, simply click save and then you would have it here on this list as well and when you actually con uh, click it now we're actually using the binance smart chain and we can interact with the uh, smart contracts on the binance smart chain and the address here will be the same address as it is on ethereum network so this is step number one uh, step number two is if you have a, a binance account you can actually send bnb to your wallet from here and you can sell uh, send sxp to your wallet as well so as you can see i had 2076 sxp here and i'm actually already in the process of, of withdrawing about uh, 1050 sxp from here to the binance smart chain so the easiest thing that you do is you come to your metamask here you simply copy your account uh, number or the public uh, address and you uh, attach it here I will not do that because I don't want to broadcast my uh, 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 what is it the address. But anyway, uh, you click the Binance Smart Chain option here, and you understand the risks here. And as you can see here, the fee for uh, the withdrawal will be 0 0.059 SXP. But if you were do would, if you would do the same exact same thing on the Ethereum network, the fee would actually be four SXP, which is much much. Uh, more expensive than on the Binance Smart Chain. So you would send some SXP to the uh, to the to your uh, wallet, and you would also have to send a little bit BNB to your wallet as well, because instead of Ethereum to be used for the gas fees, you're actually using BNB for the gas fees on the uh, Binance Smart Chain. So you need both SXP and BNB on your wallet. Not a lot of BNB, but uh, you need at least one thousand SXP before you can actually stake anything there. Uh, that's one way to do it. And when you have the SXP, you can stake it. And I will show that soon. The next thing you can actually do, you can uh, use the binance.com, uh, binance.org slash en slash bridge. So if you're in the United States 
or somewhere else where Binance is not available or you just don't want to use Binance at all for the withdrawals. By the way, what you can do here is you can buy the SXP here and withdraw it or you can send, let's say, the Ethereum version of SXP to Binance and just withdraw the BSC version here. So it will automatically do the bridging for you. But you can also use this website here to do it in a decentralized fashion. So what you do is you use the peg in here and you make sure that you are on the Binance Smart Chain like we are right now. You choose the SXP from this list and you choose how many SXP you want to convert. So let's say you want to convert uh, from the Ethereum network to the Binance Smart Chain network uh, 1050 SXP. You connect your wallet here and again you can you can use the Binance Chain wallet or you can use MetaMask. In this case we use MetaMask. You connect here and for some reason this is a little bit bugged so you actually have to ch uh, choose the SXP again once you have actually uh, connected your wallet here. So let's do that again. 1050 and you click next and you confirm this and now you can see this address and you would simply send the Ethereum version of the SXP to this address. Here do not send it to this address, generate your own address uh, of course and uh, you send the SXP here and then it will be uh, converted or wrapped into the Binance Smart Chain version and they will send it to your wallet and you have to do this with a two hour window. So that's another way to do it as well. So you can do use the binance.org slash ian slash bridge or you can use the Binance uh, protocol itself. And I don't know which one is better for you but you can use both of these. And when you actually have the Binance uh, BNB tokens as well as the SXP token on your wallet, what you can then do is you can go to app.swipe.org and it will give this error because this is actually connected to the Ethereum network and for some reason you cannot actually change the network here uh, because of this error. So you actually have to go to this website which is bscapp.swipe.org if you are already connected to the network and you can change the network here as well. Uh, if you come to this website and you're still on the Ethereum network or you're now in the uh, Binance network, you can simply uh, just go back to the Ethereum network and then click here, uh, drop down menu here to change to the Binance Smart Chain network. But easiest way is to just go to the direct address so you're in the right place right now. So as you can see, I already have the uh, SXP in my wallet. Now we have to enable the stake here and we approve this. And instead of uh, the gas fees, we have to pay it in Ethereum. We actually have to pay the gas fee in BNB, even though it says Ethereum here. So I'll edit this one. Actually, I can just confirm it and it will take a little bit uh, time. It will approve this smart contract. It will not send uh, SXP yet. Uh, it will take a little bit of time. And now I just wish I had enough BNB here because I did withdraw my money from the BNB platform before so I do have a little bit BNB it looks like it looks like uh, uh, I have enough BNB here so we can actually do this and we just choose the SXP amount that you want to stake here and as you can see the minimum amount is 1000 SXP and you simply supply this uh, and you again uh, confirm this transaction and now you're actually starting to stake and you go with whatever numbers are here and you confirm and now again, let's hope that I have enough BNB on my wallet. <laughs> let's see when the BNB, yeah, uh, it was enough. So now the SXP has been staked here and these rewards start to accumulate about once per day. So maybe one or two day delay there is before they start to accumulate. And then you can claim these rewards whenever you want. So now actually let's go back to Ethereum because I have still staked some SXP on the Ethereum network as well just so you can see what it will look like when you have staked some SXP. So now let's convert, <coughs> go back to the Ethereum network here. Uh, here and it will connect here. Okay, uh, you can see that this is the amount of SXP I have staked on the Ethereum network. And uh, if I want to claim these rewards, I can claim this. And again, if I want to claim it, claim this, uh, you would simply follow this process and you would be able to uh, claim the SXP rewards every now and then. And as you can see, uh, there's a 
a period of time i think it's seven days right now they change it at some point uh, that you have to wait before you can actually claim these rewards so uh, the 40 sxp is about the weekly rewards i have received by having this sxp staked here on the ethereum network so i'm not exactly sure how many how much sxp i want to convert to the binance smart chain or not but i have now 1050 sxp on the uh, on the binance smart chain uh, sxp staking as well so in this video i don't want to hype sxp at all i just want to show how everything is done uh, if this was useful for you uh, I'm happy and consider liking this video and leaving a comment if it was useful. If something is still unclear, uh, leave a question down below as well. So I will answer that and make a pinned comment and update the pinned com comment if something comes up that uh, wasn't in this video. Anyway, that's it. Uh, be careful out there. You can use, There's different versions of MetaMask that you actually can download if you just search it on Google. And that can be a scammy version of the MetaMask and you can actually lose your funds if you transfer money to that one so whenever you use metamask make, make sure that you always go to metamask.io page not metamask.lo or metamask.to or anything else metamask.io is the page and i will link this in the description as well so you may uh, are sure that you're actually using the correct a uh, wallet and not a scammy wallet that they can uh, steal your private keys so anyway that's pretty much all I have to say about this video. Uh, do that in uh, stake SXP on your own risk. Uh, this video is not about telling the risks or potential rewards for SXP, just showing how everything is. Anyway, that's it for this video. I hope you liked it. Consider subscribing and I will see you on the next video.